Welcome to this introduction to DSpace. Originally developed by HP and MIT, DSpace is the software of choice for academic, non-profit, and commercial organizations building open digital repositories. The open source software application DSpace now offers a comprehensive solution for your organization to manage, provide access to, preserve, and share your digital assets. DSpace preserves and enables easy and open access to all types of digital content, including text, images, moving images, audio, and datasets. The software is free, easy to install out of the box, and is completely customizable to fit the needs of any organization. Currently, nearly 500 preeminent research institutions worldwide use DSpace and form a large community of users and enthusiasts. Together with a group of motivated developers, often affiliated to a specific institution, they ensure development and support in the long term. The DSpace open source platform was built on the concept of open knowledge sharing and long-term preservation. Organizations such as universities, museums, research labs, and commercial institutions are using DSpace to create their own repositories and share their research output with the world. Institutions use DSpace for a variety of different content types. Aside from electronic theses, dissertations, and scientific publications, you can also access art collections, cultural heritage resources, or audio and video clips. Let's now take a closer look at some of the ways administrators and users actually use DSpace. The software can be installed and configured in less than a day if you use the standard setup. On a regular Linux or Windows server, administrators can easily create a hierarchy of communities and collections. Communities typically represent departments, which are areas of research within an institution. Collections are subsets of communities. Responsibilities for reviewing incoming content can be delegated to different people for every collection. Once our administrator has created a community and collection. Registered users can start submitting content to a collection. During the submission process, a user is presented with a series of mandatory and optional fields to complete, known as the items metadata. These fields can be fully customized by the administrator and can differ from collection to collection. Standard metadata fields would include author, title, and abstract, for example. The full set of Dublin Core fields is a part of the standard configuration. However, METs, MODs, and other standards can easily be implemented. After completing the description, the user can choose one or more files to attach to the item, together with a description for each file. In the very last step, the user needs to accept the collection's license. These licenses can also be customized by the administrator and make it very clear for users to what extent the submitted information is being distributed. After a collections editor reviews the submitted description and files, the item will appear in the collection. It also becomes immediately accessible through the DSpace browse and search functions. Browsing the communities and collections will show you the structure of the repository. Every community and collection has a home page offering relevant contextual information. There are also options to browse the content by different indexes, including title, date, and author. The simple search page offers a Google-like search interface, displaying the results sorted by relevance. Advanced search allows you to specify which fields should contain specific words or sentences. Most search engines, such as Google, keep a close eye on publicly available DSpace sites. This means any information in your repository that is publicly available is indexed by all popular search engines and therefore can be found easily through keyword search. In some cases, more than 60% of the repository's visitors arrive through a search engine. Even after six years of intense development, DSpace continues to evolve to meet the ever-changing needs of the community.
and to take advantage of new technologies and web-based services. From preserving endangered Afghani manuscripts to creating virtual museums, organizations are pioneering ways DSpace can be used for a wide variety of purposes. The DSpace Foundation brings together a diverse group of organizations from over 50 countries. The role of the foundation is to lead the collaborative development of the software for the global community, enabling innovation and services for access, stewardship and reuse of digital materials.